This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. This short session here goes through and looks at income taxes, which, which is something that you have seen and done before in your certificate level accounting paper. Uh, and just revises what current tax is before we then look at deferred tax in F2. OK, uh, so what we have to look at here it is current tax. Uh, Current tax essentially is what you are due to pay to revenue and customs. And what we need to be able to do is we need to be able to account for that amount that is payable to revenue and customs. OK, so when we're going through there and looking at how things appear within the financial statements, uh, if we're looking at the statement of financial position, uh, what you have there is within your current liabilities. You will have is it your tax payable balance won't it uh, and then in the statement of profit or loss you have as an extract you have pbt you then have your income tax expense which then gives you is it your profits for the year okay uh, and what we need to be able to do is to calculate all of those tax figures, the tax payable, the income tax expense. Uh, the tax payable it is pretty straightforward. Uh, that is just your year end estimate. Uh, so you're not going to have to do any tax computation like we see in the final part of the syllabus. You'll be actually told what the estimate at the end of the current year is. OK, uh, so that should be nice and straightforward. The income tax is then going through there and looking at a working similar, as I said, to what we saw at the certificate level. And um, what we did there is we drew up a, a hybrid profit or loss and SFPT account, which looked there at your tax payable. And if we just recap how we worked out the, the tax expense from your tax payable T account, remember what we did is first of all we put in the opening figure so step one way back when you did the certificate level was to put in the opening liability again tax is a liability so that remember first i put it in i will is on the credit side isn't it okay so drive on the left crash on the right uh, then what happened is that was an estimate so you then went through and paid the tax bill and the bookkeeper will have recorded that payment so we will have credited bank and reduced the liability and again what we saw in the certificate level is that what you paid was not the same as the estimate that you made in the prior year hence gave rise to an un under or over provision but we'll touch upon that again in a moment uh, third step was to go through there and look at the estimate for this year wasn't it so this year's estimate we recorded or, or showed it's on the debit side, didn't we? Because that would then be brought forward next year on the credit side as the opening liability. And then what we went through and did there is that we balanced everything off, didn't we, in step four uh, to the statement of profit or loss. OK, so what we had there is that this balancing figure was the statement of profit or loss where essentially we're crediting the payable and debiting the expense and then here that carry forward figure from step three is the figure that you have in the sfp isn't it okay not a huge amount changes uh previously you were given the four things uh in your certificate level paper uh, now what happens and you'll see that this t account there it is very similar isn't it to what we saw within the statement of cash flows wasn't it but in the cash flow statement we were looking at that the far left hand figure wasn't it to work out that the tax paid here we're looking to work out the tax expense uh, but what's different now is that you won't be given the four steps uh, what will happen is you will be given the net figure from when we have last year's estimate and have made the payment because if you think about how the accounting process works, the bookkeeper does their job, doesn't it? And then once the bookkeeper's done their job, they then extract the trial balance and then it's over to you, the accountant, 
to prepare the financial statements with your year end adjustments, isn't it? And tax is a year end adjustment. So what will have happened is last year you will have prepared the accounts and put in last year's estimate for the T account. The year will have proceeded and then the bookkeeper will have made the payments. At that point, nothing else happens with regards to the tax. So the bookkeeper will net off the opening liability and the payments to give either an opening debit or an opening credit, depending upon how much we have paid compared to the prior year figure. OK, uh, don't worry about too much, whether that's an under or over provision. What we will see is we will have an opening debit or an opening credit on the trial balance, which is the net of the brought forward and the cash payment from steps one and two. After that, everything then goes through and proceeds as normally. OK, we look at the estimate for the end of the year. We then balance it off. OK, so it becomes, if you like, a little bit more straightforward. OK, uh, so to emphasize that and to piece it all together, let's just go through there and have a look at the example. Uh, so it wants extract from the statement of profit or loss. For Claire, for the year ended, is it December X5 and financial position with regard to tax. So here, everything to do with current tax. And what you can see that is that you're given a current tax balance on the TB as a 500 credit balance. OK, uh, so that's the opening position. That's essentially taking account of what last year's estimate was what was paid and when you net them off you essentially get a 500 credit if you like and um, what we'll just go through there and squeeze it in as an example that's essentially saying well look let's just say that last year's brought forward was four thousand uh, that's what the bookkeeper will have had brought forward last year the bookkeeper has processed the payment Let's just say it's 3,500. And that's where the bookkeeper got to. OK, now they then prepared the trial balance. That's the figure that appears on the trial balance. And that difference is 500. And there is an excess of credits over debit. So it's a 500 credit balance. You don't need to worry where it comes from, but that just goes through there, doesn't it? And demonstrates where it comes from. OK, so what we've got is if we're going to go through that and draw up the figures. Is it from the statement of financial position? The statement of profit or loss. SFP is the current liability, which is your tax payable. On the statement of profit or loss, we're just looking at your income tax expense. I won't bother with all the nonsense that we put in before about PBT and profit for the year. And the key bit there is that you need a working, don't we, to work out that income tax expense, which finally brings us around to where we were originally in that you've got a T account. That T account is there as your tax payable and the brought forward is 500 that's the figure taken from the trial balance got it excellent well done okay what we need to do now is look at the information it says a provision for current tax for the year ended of 4.2 million is required so that's december x5 that is our year end so we need to put in 4.2 million Again, we'll work in thousands. So that there is 4,200. That is your estimate at the end of the year. You don't have to calculate it. You don't have to do anything with it other than put it in. That could not get any easier, could it? The income tax expense. Well, what you've got there is you put in the carry forward figure. Is it as 4,200? You balance it off both sides. Is it there? 4,200. You work out the balancing figure. The balancing figure is taken to the statement of profit or loss. And even with my limited mathematical ability, I can see there that that is $3,700, is it not? Yes. Okay. It sits up there proudly, doesn't it? 
so the expense in the statement of profit or loss is there. Is it at 3.7 million? So 3,700,000. Okay. Done. Yeah, that's it. Uh, if we just pull the bits together, it does say number two. I think this is interesting. Uh, it says the balance of current tax in the trial balance represents the under or over provision of the tax liability for the year ended December X4. So that's looking at your prior year estimate, what you paid and whether it is under or over provided. I couldn't care less whether it was under or over provided because I use a T account. And by putting in a T account, what I can see there is that it reduces the overall expense from what I would have thought would be 4200 down to is it 3700 put it within the T account put it on the credit side because it was an opening credit if it was an opening debit push it over to that other side onto the debit side and then that will work out as whatever it may be okay uh, if you're so interested because it is on the credit side I'm I'm loath to mention this but if it is a credit, that means that you have an over provision. OK, what happened is in the prior year and we can go back to it as our example in the prior year up there, didn't we? We said our prior year estimate was four and we paid three thousand five hundred. So we estimated too much last year and therefore would have had too much of an expense last year. So because of that the over provision for last year we don't go back to last year and adjust anything do we we adjust it through this year's figures so we expense too much last year so therefore reduce the expense in the current year so instead of it being for 200 it's there as 3700 isn't it okay there we go that's tax there's nothing much to it you may hopefully get a question on it within the exam and if you do Try not to jump for joy and scream out loud too much because we don't want to put off anybody else within the exam room because it should, fingers crossed, be a pretty straightforward question.